session with this called Measures and Notes by page 48 of October 2012. Let's have a look and see what happened last week and what we can expect this week. So, Nick and I were away on Friday. We were headed down to London for our event that we did. And very, very successful. Good to see some of our students. Thank you so much for coming, guys. It was fantastic to see you guys. And we drove back to Amsterdam. Okay, and back to business. So, what did we have? Okay, so Asian session last night with some slight clawbacks. But look at Friday's event. Very indecisive. A spinning top after Thursday's upside movement. A little bit of a doji. Uh, we didn't trade during the session. Then we had this doji guy that call it some Delphi pattern, but you'll notice now that we priced pretty much found a bit of support now on the institutional moving average, which is a good sign, we look there, you can see the price is still in a positive upturn, and our trend line support is still upside, which favors the trend line moving to the upside, swing highs and shaky price action, and it's all pointing to the upside, which is fantastic, and most importantly, that institutional moving average on our daily, which is still below price. And we have all our moving averages also below price. Not in order, but yep, still below price on our daily. So what can we expect? Well, today we have news. Today we have is all day today we have the uh, Eurogroup meeting, uh, which is news also the Central Investment Confidence results today. So this Eurogroup meeting held in Brussels, attended by all the Eurogroup presidents, finance ministers, etc. Uh, from most of the, from all of the Euro member states. So today we could see another, uh, a, a bit of hesitation, a bit of speculative tick trading out there. They, they discuss a range of uh, financial issues such as the, the Euro support mechanism and the stock versus finance analysis. So heads up, that could be quite an, it's going to be important today of course obviously. So we could see a bit of news uh, coming out there with price action usually goes too high. But as everything stands as we speak at the moment now, it looks pretty much that we are still in a positive upside movement. It's a nice bullish trend from Thursday as we price our market down support. You can see a lot of range in here from over the last week or so. That all takes place as we speak right now. So this trend is uh, taking us higher. So what we should be looking for is, if anything, the break of the uh, yesterday's, uh, Friday's indecisive high in decision and then we can move forward by looking for big big reversals in the bull market. If you look at the weekly candle you can clearly see last week's candle range really engulfed the prior week. So it could it could give the signal that sentiment is generally looking still topside favorable favorable and if that's the case then we should obviously be looking positively on this sort of range. At roughly the So as long as we can get above this consolidation high here that we saw on Friday, look at the hour uh, going to the four hour chart, you can see the institution moving up is still below price, RSI is still the RSI relative share index index is still above fifty, so telling us it's a positive trend. And yes we had you can see we went to the consolidated range here. You can see the uh, the CT histogram went a bit red, however you can see price is still trading above that institution and we did see a reversal to the Today and that coincided nicely with that 12800, which happens to be the institution moving average on our daily time frame. So you can see quite clearly the price did consolidate, however, it did not close the trade lower than the institution moving average four hour. So that sentiment is just a pullback, and now we're seeing price bouncing higher, breaking prior highs. And quite clearly, we can see this range over here between the 1295 and the 2900 higher. It's consolidating as we speak, so got to be aware of that. You can see. Take the low here of 12,800, swing highs, and the price, as we speak now, is starting to trade in the four-hour time frame. If the institution were to form trade in the middle, so we're monitoring something happening in that area. As long as price stays above this 12,500 prior resistance level, but also above this trend line, and RSI can remain above 50, then we should be expecting a push to the upside, a nice bullish trend, and we should definitely see a better market than what we saw on Friday. So what we can do for this is look for any intraday trades. We look for the high of this price move over here, which we saw on Friday as our first target. The high is here at 13.06.1.6 before we see price getting a little bit of a reversal to the resistance level. So we just saw price uh, consolidating and coming out of the institution. 
onto Sterling against US dollar. Let's have a look and see what's been happening. Look at the weekly chart. You can quite clearly see we're going into a third week now of pullback. And this pullback coming at the top end over here at 6300, which happened to Friday be our previous major support and resistance level. Weekly back here in May of this year, we had a noticeable resistance level and just recently price action has actually come unstuck at the same level, uh, spinning top, and then we had this little bearish engulfing candle and price has been reversing to the downside ever since. So where to next? Well, if you take a Fibu retracement from the low here in June to the higher that we had just recently at 6300, you can see the 22.6 is not too far off here, just above the 1605 mark. So on our daily, you want to be aware of that. Put in 1605, you can quite clearly see that price uh, 1607 is where it actually is. You can see price just recently finding support and we are now selling into that support. So looking for any opportunities to the downside, if you're looking for any entries here, I'd be very um, aware of the 1607 here, uh, Mark primarily because of this being our weekly fib retracement area and we could see potential for price to actually find support here. So looking for any shorts don't, I wouldn't trade now, I'd rather wait to see a nice close below this current uh, area of support here at 1607 before we see any further attempts to the downside. Notice the histograms are still very much blue. So yes, we just recently had red, red. Now we have red, blue. So nothing's gonna, f uh, ideally we wanna see price trading below the 1607 before you make any further decisions or opportunities to the downside. We could see potential for a bounce to occur. We had one uh, two, three, what's it, back on the Thursday. So we don't wanna be speculating. Rather wait for price to actually make its move and then we will act upon. You can see the institution moving average now coming up to meet price and this is the 1607 on our 4 hour chart. So you can see yes we're having lower swings which from the highs here at 16300 shows that price is looking slightly negative consolidative. However as long as we trade above 1607 then we could potentially see another bounce occurring. So rather be patient for this one sterling as US dollar. Rather wait to see what happens or occurs in this area here as we head into 1607 for the second attempt. And if we do see a nice break and close lower than 1605, then we could see price potentially falling low over the next week or so, and then we'll take it from there. Onto the US dollar Swiss franc. Let's have a look at this particular pair. Last week's trading range, very indecisive. And that coming at a price support and resistance level just recently here in the shape of the 92500 mark. So price has been falling nicely for the pair, and we have a consolidation, but you can see quite clearly near term, Price is very hesitant now and getting very, very uh, confused is probably the word as price is now, we know prior that 940 was a sticking point for this particular pair and price has been undecided at and moving to the downside yet again. But also very, very indecisive. Notice the the uh, the overall trend for here, falling back after that major attempt here at the 1000 mark. And you can see the histograms just recently on the CTC uh, chart, our template still showing negativity and you can see price is now consolidating in this 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 consolidated pattern between the 925 and the 9400 mark 940 mark so ideally we want to see one of two things we either want to see price trading above 940 or trading below 925 a nice bullish or bearish break would be fantastic to give us a conclusion where likely price would like to go to in the near term the daily chart shows that price is still fiddling around with that between the 925 and you can see the the uh, Resistance here at 940 on our daily, which constitutes to the underside of the institution moving average, and we're trading below the institution moving average for the first time in a full year. We were trading above it uh, last year, September, and now we're trading below it this year, September. So, as long as it maintains below the institution moving average, then ultimately sentiment is still looking negative for this. You can see the swing lows here on our daily chart, definitely confirming that sentiment is still looking to the downside. All our moving averages above price as we speak. And our histogram on the other side is still looking very much, it's, well, it's still confirming very much that we are still looking for negativity. So ideally, uh, spinning top on Friday, now we have this little bullish engulfing candle here on the daily since the Asian session opened, and that spinning top coming right on the 9.30, so very indecisive. We want to see a decision. So if the day closes upside, then we should be targeting back towards the 9.40 potentially. If not, if it closes lower than the 9.30, then ultimately telling us this is a potentially our decision, the decisive candle, and because we're still looking negative, then ultimately we should be looking for those intraday uh, lows, so we should be targeting those downs. Next port of call, because we would see a break of the 23.6 near term here at 9.30, the next one would be our 38.2, which is way down here, just below the 8900 mark. So a nice target for the foreseeable uh, week, 
if and when we do see a nice bearish engulfing counter scenario below that 935. Last for the day is US dollar Japanese yen. Let's have a look at this particular pair. Uh, weekly charts update. Wow, a lot of indecisiveness on here. You can see the past couple of months came backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards between 78, which happened to be a major long term support and resistance level. I'm just going to put this in so you guys can kind of really see what I'm talking about. This pair has been ranging for such a long time now. And 78 in particular has been a, a major support area for this. Since June, we've seen price moving back towards this level on a number of occasions over the last four or five months. Uh, lows have got lower, so telling our sentiment is still squeezing to the downside, and each time it, it, it bounces, that squeeze uh, pullback becomes a little shorter. So you can see now we're pretty much ranging. You can see these highs are starting to get a lot smaller as we move into the 78 yet again. Notice the histogram on either side. Still very negative, has been negative, has been negative for a long time since 2008. Look at this, guys, the fantastic simplicity of this actual build up here. It, it, telling you, yes, we've had a lot of pullbacks along here, but they've just been consolidation pullbacks after a lot of selling through these parts here. And overall, the sens sentiment for this particular pair has still been negative. So the US dollar finding a lot of negative uh, sentiment against the yen. And the only downside is that if price had to break below 78, then are we likely to see the either the US government intervening or are we going to see the Japanese government intervening? A very weak dollar against a very strong yen is not good for obviously uh, business purposes, trading, and the Japanese government doesn't want to see a very negative uh, US dollar because they are such uh, major import and export figures amongst each other. So let's have a look at the daily. I'm going to be aware of that 78, so please put that 78 and make it nice and big so we know exactly where a major support is on, the, uh, on, on that pullback. So you can quite clearly see that the institution moving average is above price as we speak. Notice the histogram is pretty much red just recently. One or two areas are blue. However, you're trading. Uh, when the setup for this particular um, outcome, or here, this buying sentiment outcome comes, there is no true buying sentiment behind it because we're looking for that candle to show us that sentiment and it just doesn't arrive. So the institution moving average above price here, and you can see that price is finding lower swings just recently, a lot of swing lows after this bounce here, the, consid uh, the consolidation bounce is 78. So Italian sentiment is not genuine behind this. Uh, you can see the Asian session um, as we speak, seeing a slight pullback, a bit of buying momentum over the past week or so. However, we are trading into a price support and resistance level high here. There we go, the prior high on the daily. And you can see we're looking, potentially seeing a resistance level here. If, if if this daily candle closes lower, this is a bearish engulfing candle and it's, clo it's engulfing these two prior candles at a prior support and resistance level higher or a swing high at 78.80. And that constitutes, that also falls in play with this, the swing lows. Ultimately, uh, near term, we could see that price has been steadily getting, uh, the high has been steadily getting lower um, over the past couple of months as we head back in towards the 78. Our target would be, if you saw a bearish engulfing here, back towards 78 as our first target. For the remainder of this week. So as it stands now, if we get a bearish engulfing, then we should be targeting the 78 for the remainder of this week. If we don't see a bearish engulfing and price seems to consolidate, we have to see a break above the 78.80 to see any potential uh, long-term or near-term trades. The at least the institution moving average on our daily, which would be the 79.40 mark. That's it for today, guys. Short and sweet. Please be aware of any news announcements. The um, eurozone. Uh, we're having Eurogroup meetings today, which all the Eurozone uh, presidents will be meeting uh, to talk about financial issues, etc. And we all know that Spain and Greece are still the big ones to talk about in Europe at, these, uh, at the moment. So there's going to be some speculative people are going to be wanting to see what actually comes out of those meetings uh, to see if there's any clear direction for Spain and Greece, etc. So be aware of it, guys. Other than that, if you are using this particular template, please follow the rules of the template and back it up with sound money management, guys. It's very, very important. Can't keep stressing. You might have the best strategy in the world, but if you don't back it up with some money management, it can be worth nothing. Okay, so heed those those warning calls. Other than that, keep it simple, and I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Hope you have a fantastic trading day. Till then, trade serenely.